Hi guys, how are you? Well, it's time to introduce myself. My name is Nancy. I am Greek and my Greek name is Athanasia. I'm basically Greek. My parents are Greek. I was born in Greece. I was raised in Greece, but I went to university in UK. And then I started working in UK. Since then, I've always been in UK, basically. I've, I haven't been back to my country. Um, I always used to work in an office and um, I never had uh, any experience with cameras. I'm not a singer. I'm not an artist. I don't have a Excuse me if I am nervous. This is the first time I'm gonna talk in depth about the perfumes that I like. I want to say a big thank you to all the other YouTubers that they started from nothing as well and they grown so fast. And I want to say a big thank you to them because their words are so, so encouraging and um, I think love is really important in the world. Like it shows that when you love someone, it shows and you get it, even if it's through the camera. Kind intentions, honestly, kind intentions is the most important thing in life. Okay, let's start about what perfumes I want to talk about. I have to say a few things, yes. I do like different type of perfumes. I'm not only a vanilla lover. I'm not only a fresh lover. I'm not only a gourmand lover. I do like differ different types of perfumes. I do like gourmands. I do like vanilla. I do like amber. I do like patchouli. I do like tuberose. I do like jasmine. I do like a lot of notes. I do like mirror. Um, it's just like I, the only thing I noticed I with saffron, like if it's too intense, I'm not really into it. But um, like uh, the the Giorgio Armani one, Queer Majest, I found it really strong. I found although it is a nice perfume, and I know people love it, but for me, I don't know. I cannot handle that specific one. Uh, I do have uh, some amber vanilla perfumes here and um, I believe amber is a really really elegant and really sexy um, note and I believe it has to be wear during the night and these perfumes I'm gonna mention now it's about night time I think it is too much if you're in the daytime but if you were in the during the night time it's much much better um first one people don't talk about it why why people don't do talk about it it is from jo malone and jo malone i know it is expensive and it doesn't last and all this but this specific line like the 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 most advanced line uh, I do think their perfumes are really really nice like um, velvet rose and wood like tuberose angelica mirantoka jasmine gold and marigold um, which other one vanilla the vanilla one and the one I'm gonna talk about today it's called dark amber and ginger lily yes I discovered this perfume over 10 years ago I think and um, I have to say the lady that I spoke to her on the on the retail shop I asked her what perfumes do you think they are quite uh, sexy and she told me dark amber and ginger lily and the velvet rose and nude 
And I have to say, I fell in love instantly with both of them. I think Dark Amber and Ginger Lily is so, so, so nice. Honestly, they do have the, the body cream as well. I mean, it's amazing. People don't talk about it. Guys, talk about it. It's a beautiful perfume. Hey, I do get a lot of compliments when I wear this. It's really, really nice. Honestly. You can smell the amber. You can smell the, the ginger. I just want to not see, have a look on the notes. Uh, I did make a um, note breakdown. It does have cardamom. It does have ginger and pink pepper. And you can really sense that when you first smell it. You can see, really sense that spicy and that cardamom and that ginger together. They are really, really unique. I haven't smelled any other perfume like this one. Even in a nice ones, I haven't, I haven't. It's really, really nice. I believe if, I know I may be controversial here, but if another nice company made a perfume like this one, it would be really, really successful. But because Jo Malone, uh, they, most people from Jo Malone say that they don't last, people don't really interested in trying these ones okay the next uh, the the top notes is ginger black cardamom and pink pepper the middle notes are water lily or heat jasmine and rose and the main the um the base notes it is sandalwood black amber and incense patchouli and leather um i mean i don't know how to describe this one but it's so so unique it's so so deep i wouldn't wear it in the daytime it's so we I, I, I haven't i haven't smelled any other perfumes that they smell like this one to be honest with you honestly i haven't and I tried a lot of Nice perfumes, but it doesn't mean by, because they are Nice, they are really nice too. I tried a lot of Nice perfumes and some of them are really, really terrible. Personally, you know, I don't like them. But if you do like this, if you do like ginger, if you do like cardamom, if you do like pink pepper, if you like amber, patchouli, I don't smell a lot of patchouli here. I do smell the amber. I do smell the ginger cardamom. I do smell this spicy amber uh, with ginger. Honestly, it is fascinating. And they do have the body cream as well. And if you layer it with the body cream, it's a bomb. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. Bye-bye. Mm. Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. Okay, the next one we have Almond Jane Byzance. Yes, this is me. Oh, this is another Amber one. I love this one. It's so, so nice. You know, sometimes during summertime, when I smell these perfumes, I don't try them, I just smell it. I cannot stand them. But during the night, I realize how nice they are. Honestly, it's like it depends on your mood. It depends on your, on the whether it's a day, whether it's a night. It depends on the event. It depends on or where, what you're doing. Pizance has got, a, it's a number woody one. Yes, it's a number woody fragrance. And uh, it's got blackcurrant pads. It's got pink pepper. It's got milk. Can you believe this? This has got milk. It's got white wood, cashmere, uh, nairis. And in the base, it's got Madag Madagascar vanilla. It's got 
raisins and this is the balsamic one this is the amber that is coming to play with it and you can sense it it's from the base and it's got sweat sweat and moss it is so oh it's fascinating really really love it again this perfumes i'm gonna talk about today i don't think you smell them anywhere else honestly i believe so they are so 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 unique guys if you really want to try amber sexy amber try these perfumes honestly okay bye bye bijans next one next one it is i discovered it this year okay i have a story about it it is Tris McAvoy and the specific fragrance is X. Basically, I discovered Tris McAvoy in 2010 and I really liked the perfume from there, um, the blackberry and vanilla one. And uh, I, this year I did go to uh, Liberty in London and um, I smelled the other perfumes and I really liked this one and they told me this is the most loved ones by the people and also the uh, rose and nude one they do have a rose and nude one which is really nice as well but I believe this one is is so sexy honestly sexy um my god this one has saffron but i don't you see the saffron is not like the the scratchy one it's not like this one it's so smooth it's so well blended it's really really it's really nice i do have the notes here they have a top note of bergamot lavender and saffron and the the middle notes they have the no these notes i really love them in general a rose cinnamon mirror and sandalwood and in the base is the amber patchouli and benzoin guys this is really nice i want to spray this one guys this is fascinating I can't explain it. This is so beautiful. Honestly, this is like this perfumes I'm going to talk about today. If you want to go on a date, definitely they are the top ones. Honestly, if you have like a, a huge event to go, if you have, let's say, um, Oscars to attend. <laughs> Uh, if a celebrity is watching, I doubt it, but <laughs> yeah, if you have uh, an Oscar, uh, no, <laughs> not an Oscar, <laughs> if you have an Oscar event, yes, you can wear this and I'm definitely sure you're gonna be like followed <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> so this is X by Trace Muscovoy okay bye bye <laughs> the next one when i wore this one my friend got like oh, heart attack <laughs> people don't talk about the specific one they talk about the other dolce cabana ones but not the specific one this is the dolce cabana essence i had the the dolce cabana one the one um and not the essence one, the one they used to like, I think that, that was in 2010, something like that. And um, I finished the bottle so much. I just, just finished it so quickly. And um, I discovered this one last uh, two years. 
and uh, I was in Harrods in London and uh, the lady, <laughs> she told me, I asked her, what do you think? It's a sexy one. <laughs> and she sprayed this one and I was like magnetized, <laughs> honestly, magnetized. Um, and she was like, she was joking as well. She said, I know, I know people are going to be like, who is she? Who is that lady? <laughs> Uh, this is the essence one. Yes, essence. Okay, let's see at the note. This is a number one as well. I think it's a number hoodie fragrance as well. Okay, let's see the notes. Where is the note breakdown? Let's see. The top notes has got peach, litchi, mandarin orange, and um, it's got lily jasmine lily of the valley and in the dry down it's got vanilla amber and vetiver i think the amber fragrances i have to say something now i think the amber fragrances you cannot really describe them it's not like the gourmand ones where you say, oh, you've got vanilla, you've got benzoin, you've got um, coconut, you've got, uh, you know, the sweet notes. And then you'll be like, oh, it's so sweet, it's so lila. You know, the amber ones is so, so different and you cannot describe it. You only can say that is really sensual, really sexy, really elegant really really beautiful 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 i don't think it's for for youngsters you know i think it's more like if you are over 22 23 i think so but i don't think it's for the young generation and this i think most of them the ones i talk today are um unisex ones as well you know but i do find them more feminine to me to me they are more feminine <laughs> okay let's say bye bye to this one and then go to the last one the last one is my favorite the one that i have the most compliments and i have seen that there is a lot of controversy about this one with another one from the same um brand I do have both of them. Let's 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 show you. Let's keep it for a bit. Let's show you. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This one. It's the Spiritus Double Vanille by Guerlain. Okay. This is an expensive one. I know. I know. It is an expensive one. Okay. Guys, this perfume is so beautiful. Guys, why do you like Angelique Noir more than this one? Honestly, why? Angelique Noir is nice. I have it too. But this one, I think it's more ambery, more sexy, more unique, more... And you can layer it with Angelique Noir if you want to. If you are so obsessed with Angelique Noir. <laughs> okay, let's go to the notes. It's a number hoodie fragrance, yes? And it's got pink peppercorn, pergamot, incense, cedar, Bulgarian rose, ylang ylang, and the, the base is got vanilla bean and benzoin. Okay. I'll try the next hand. Oh... You know this one, on my birthday, I tried this one, I wore it and people were like following me in selfridges. <laughs> they were like, <laughs> this lady, she was uh, serving customers and she came up to me, she shouted at me and she said, hi, hi, I was like, who's talking to me? <laughs> hi, hi excuse me what perfume are you wearing 
and I told her it's this one and she's like oh it smells so nice honestly the sias on this is so amazing amazing I did uh, see another fellow youtuber that talk about uh, this one one of the masterpieces one and she also mentioned that it was um, an honorable mention <laughs> uh, and I do agree agree with her um, I do think it's a masterpiece I don't remember her name I'm really sorry I'm really sorry um, yes I will go for this one Go for this one. Angelique Noir. I think Angelique Noir is more like um, you can wear it during the daytime. Yes. But this one is more of a nighttime. It's got that amber I was talking about. Yeah. So this is the most expensive one. Uh, I buy a lot of my Guerlain fragrances from eBay. Uh, people do sell them on better prices. And I did buy a few of them. Um, yeah. So this is the last one of the amber ones with a note of amber. But I do have an honorable mention that doesn't have amber at all. But it does have this sense of an amber. Okay. So this one. It's called Rose Barbar by Garlan. Again, by Garlan. <laughs> okay. This is this is the one I, will, I want to say you have to wear it during the night time. This is so potent. This is so strong. People are gonna be crazy. <laughs> I have seen uh, the video I the Great uh, when she was commenting and she was saying that <laughs> she didn't like people like <laughs> uh, saying that the perfumes are panty droppers and all <laughs> I do agree with her we don't have to go over the top you know um, it's like if someone doesn't like you no matter what you are gonna wear <laughs> they are not gonna like you <laughs> It's not like a poison. <laughs> poison portion. <laughs> this one has got a rose. That's the name. I think it's Bulgarian rose. Let me see. I've got it on the notes. <laughs> I think it is Bulgarian rose. Let me see. Where do I have it? Oh. Okay. I can't find it now. It is, <laughs> it is a uh, rose, rose, rose. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have on the internet now, and I will let you know. Spiritus double vanilla. No, rose barbar. Yeah, rose barbar. Top notes is rose and aldehydes. Middle notes. I'm sorry I'm taking time it's my first video you have to excuse me <laughs> oh I forgot subscribe <laughs> um, why my computer is grown crazy oh my god it's flashing I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry, I'm sorry. okay middle notes I rose Fenugreek, Fenu and Greek, Fenugreek, that's interesting, I'm learning English, <laughs> base notes is honey, patchouli and woody notes, okay, okay, I don't know what is Fenugreek, I know what Greek is, but not Fenugreek, <laughs> okay, so it's got rose, yeah, but this perfume, I don't know why, is like it's not like the typical rose, it's quite heavy, heavy, really heavy rose. Like, I 
it's really really a heavy rose like I do believe that you need to like a rose like this one um, I believe years ago I was thinking and I'm sorry I'm going to over it too much over it uh, years ago I thought that the rose smells really really mature like really bad with bad aldehyde but the the roses they create lately they are not like that anymore they are really like elegant and you can wear it and you can feel really attractive and you can feel confident i know the perfume yes like if you wear makeup or if you wear a nice clothes it's the same with perfumes if you have a sour and then you have your perfume then you feel more and more confident and um, I don't think the, this one is a good one and it's an honorable mention of a number perfume without the number, the amber note okay so this is the last one yes and something else the garland ones they are the expensive ones but as I told you you can buy them from eBay people sell them on better prices and uh, if I know if they are quite expensive to blind buy but um, maybe you can try and test it on a little ml um, uh, I think on uh, on the Garland website they sell it um, 100 ml and more. I haven't seen any uh, ones that they, you have to you can try them basically. And um, on the Garland one, what else? Yeah, and they do have these 10 ml ones, like the owner like. 10 of 10 ml something like that but it is too expensive it's like 290 pounds i think that's like 320 euros something like that is quite expensive yeah but if you want to try all the perfumes i think you can go with that one with with uh, the 10 ml ones but there is no sprayer it's only a dot so I don't know. Yes, I'm putting you into a dilemma. Yes, I know, I know, I know. It is not nice to talk about perfumes and the other people don't have the money to buy the perfumes. But at the same time, you feel nice when people talk about them and you feel like someone has the same passion you feel interested you feel intrigued but there is a, an american um a brand that they do a uh, dupes of all the the perfumes and this is called uh, juliana's perfume i have to say i bought a lot of perfumes from them before but they have stopped shipping to uk so and to Europe and so they only ship to US and I'm not sure if they ship to Canada now as well and I do think that they do have really nice ones there you know they do have like dupes for Baccarus they do have uh, dupes for Angelique Noir they do have dupes for Rouge Malachite by Armani Privé and lately they created so much Dudes for a lot of really nice um, brand like Bond Number no. Nine, Greenwich Village, um, so many, so many. Honestly, guys, if you cannot afford it, you can look at Juliana's perfume. I know it's not gonna be exactly the same. Like for example, the Angelique Noir uh, perfume. Um, I've got the original, and first time I smelled the dupe i didn't like the dupe so much but when, when i tried the original one i liked it more and then i went back to the dupe to test it and i did find similarities so 
it is like you have to take some time yes I noticed with myself you need to take some time because you cannot have a, a straight opinion on a perfume straight away um, not all of them are like that because some of them the dry down is so is so bothering or they change a lot and you don't really understand what's happening and there are some perfumes that they stay the same but some of them the ingredients they have they may be not really good ones so yeah you need to try you need to try you need to play with them uh, you need to be more uh, how can i say focused uh, on what you want to try <laughs> Uh, I do follow a lot of YouTubers like Gabby loves perfumes from Manchester. Hi Gabby. Uh, I do like Paulina Sar. I do like I the Great. I do like Demi Rollin. I do like um, uh, what is the French lady? The beautiful French lady. <laughs> oh my God, Jacqueline. Is it Jacqueline? Uh, hi. <laughs> I do like a lot of YouTubers and I I follow them the last couple of years and I really enjoy their contents and I really enjoy their time talking about their love and um, I'm really grateful I'm able to talk about perfumes as well and uh, share my passion with you. Thank you, thank you very much for uh, listening to this i know it's a really long one i'm really sorry i'm really sorry but i cannot stop cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting i i think this takes ages i'm not <laughs> i'm not a professional um how can i say cameraman <laughs> i'm not a cameraman <laughs> i cannot do that <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you for watching. God bless you and kiss. Bye.